Maybe not, uh, not much faith in myself as a player in these 1v1s. When I had him stuck as one of the players, I'd be like, damn, yeah. he can go in. I've seen him on Lee Sin. Well, exactly right. But if you don't know how to manipulate a minion wave, things like that, like he was talking about, I mean, it could be theoretically a problem, but it's a revolter. This guy has amazing mechanics, like you said, and he's just an all-round nice guy. How can you lose? I don't I don't know. Uh, Wara is someone I want to keep my eye out for yep. uh, on Team Ice, who I actually think can bring it home. We saw his performance on the vein yesterday, all the eggs on the Wara basket, oh, and yeah. he brought it home. Saw Bear earlier today as well just go in constantly. So that's a 50-50. Uh, he's taking the carbon approach, which is just go in, and someone going to win and it might be me yeah. so if he gets the the right side of the 50 50 constantly he might make it work exactly right but we do have our very first matchup dude is going to be representing brazil and plugo is going to be representing latin america south of course support versus mid laner we'll see how it's going to go and as far as what we heard in that package earlier on what do you think the strategy is here? Do we think that they're going in with their big guns first up? Of course, Plugo is a pretty well-known name from the Latin America South side. Yeah, he's looking great today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think the strategy is Tam Kench um, coming into this one, seeing what happened in <laughs> the last year. So it's not like, it's... well, we'll put our best player first, we'll put our second best player first. No, just all of that's wiped off the table. Doesn't yep. even matter anymore. The plan is... Tom Kench. Gun for Tom Kench. Uh, Plugo <laughs> pleasantly surprised uh, watching him as a player. Uh, he had pretty good uh, jungle synergy with him. I wasn't expecting. So yeah. depending on how he does in that 1v1, he's not like a big assassin player, but he might be able to make this work. Dayud, uh, or Dayud, on the other hand, I've seen him for a long time. You know, I used to cast him in like the challenger scene back in EU. Um, was also, also like a pretty decent mechanical player. He was uh, a Thresh player for a long time. So in yeah. terms of skill shots, I have a lot of faith in him. I just don't know how this one will uh, match up. Dude as well just looked so incredibly calm and relaxed and just ready to go. No cares in the world, just yeah. ready to do Brazil Hair proud. On point. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. And I mean, this is a thing that we can certainly judge. However, I mean, first cab off the rank, he's ready to seal the deal here for Team Fire. There is a lot now on the shoulders of Brazil to make things very, very easy moving into tomorrow's matches. And as we hop into the champion select of this final 1v1 of the evening, not of course final 1v1 game, but final 1v1 set. match, set, whichever one you'd like to call it. We need to work out a yes, we do a term for that. We'll You're Australian. That I'm European. It's yeah. all good. We'll I don't even out. know. Don't even know what's happening. But there are a bunch down. of bans. Syndra Cassiopeia and LeBlanc have been taken away on the side of Dude, and Caitlyn Nassus Tom Kench <laughs> been taken off the board here. Yeah. And it looks like standard red side bans here as well. It's like can't see the Caitlyn, can't see the Nassus, can't see the Tom Kench. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Remember, guys, this is blind pick. I mean, you can play one of those guys. It's absolutely fine. But I know. Oh my goodness! Finally, we could potentially see the Nunu. It's a real icy 1v1 looking to be shaping up here, Pulse. But he's on Team Fire. That doesn't even make any sense. I know. Yeah. But uh, the day where we see Caitlyn Nass, Tam Kench as the priority bands yep. on, on red side. Either way, uh, Talia picked up, which is the interesting thing. Um, we'll have to think about that a little bit. What, I don't oh. need to, what you don't need to think about is the Nunu. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know exactly what he's doing. And look at the cold calculating face of Dude who just picked Nunu and is basically just going to throw snowballs and walk at you, hopefully play Nunu bot, laugh in that incredibly annoying way and then win the game. Oh, it's just so frightening. You can see Plugo, this guy immediately, as soon as he saw the Nunu, he was like, oh God. This guy's a Darius player. I know I know what's happening. This is Ghost Ignite Darius on my night where I've only got one game to play. Not this like this. <laughs> well, Nunu is basically Nasus, uh, except you throw snowballs at your opponent and then you eat minions. Yeah. There's not really any mechanics to him. Um, you may be able to surprise your opponent if you get in melee range, pop the ultimate, burn a flash, depending on summoners. You may even want to go for like defensive spells here. Uh, the goal playing against Nunu is just trying to burst him down, run him down, because you're not going to win the sustain war. Uh, no. But just in general, Nunu is an asshole, and there's not <laughs> much you can do against that. Yeah, that's exactly right. And of course, I, we've got a, a lot of experience having casted IWC in 2015. We saw Oceania, in fact, against Brazil, Carbon versus Kami, and the Nunu did reign supreme in that particular matchup in the hands of Carbon, who just threw a snowball, auto-attacked him a few times, threw another snowball, and won the game. It's what we call an outplay when you uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you pick Nunu. That's the extent of it. Um, Just incredible. Oh, and he's playing Nunubot as well. Of course he is. There's no other skin. Yeah, but did you just look at his face? His, like, it's like, this is just a, a calculated strategy, when really, you're just being a jerk, But the, man. The mental mind games uh, that Nunubot brings to the table is definitely worth the investment. Uh, 
took a bit of damage to the face. That doesn't matter. He can go back to base, and the minions have not spawned. So that's what you want to do if you're ever caught in your 1v1, even on Summoner's Rift. You yep. get harassed a little bit around the 40, 30 second mark. Just go back to base. But um, Plugo does know that the nothing. message has now been received, and Dude will not try any of that funny business ever again. Uh -huh. He's going to have a bit of a giggle, and this is what our lives are now. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, Dude uh, didn't probably need to go back. I mean, at the point where he gets consumed, uh, he's just going to sustain forever. I just don't know how much damage Tilly is going to do, because she got a round of nerfs on her combo. Uh, easier to hit, but different, and just less damage in general. So I'm not sure she has the damage to deal with Dude. That's the, that's the issue here. Dude's decided that he just doesn't want a last hit. There's his first one underneath this turret. He's going to throw some ice balls. Try and auto-attack down these minions. It's a Doran's ring start, so Dude not going for the standard health stack where you're just a big jerk that can't die. He's actually looking to try and do some killing here, which I do like. Now, Plugo's goal here is to be as aggressive as possible as early as possible. Zone Nunu bot away from the minion, zone him away from himself, keep hitting him as much as possible before he peaks critical mass of Nunu. At the point <laughs> where he Nunu. <laughs> at the point where he picks up consume, gets a couple levels in it, that's where uh, it gets rather bad for Talia. He's actually going with Deathfire Touch as well. This is going to be the slow, painful death of ice ball after ice ball. Uh, Defy makes sense. I mean, he's not going to get more than anything else off on his opponent. Uh, he's not going to hit them three times. So you can see the burn there. Look at the sick mechanics. <laughs> Just Walked clicks up. him. Gave him the old right click. Mm -hmm. And backs away. Um, Powerful and stuff. You can't miss cannon because you have consume. Yeah. Why haven't I played this champion? Like every single game. Pretty good, man. Played. Oh, he's going in. There's the exhaust down, dude. No longer able to attack as fast. Throws down the heal after he got exhausted. It's not a good idea. Oh, the barrier. Oh my goodness, Plugo. No, he's going to make it under the tower. And that's the first blood, dude. As soon as he turned around, that was game over. And the Nunu has been stopped. GG, well played. Finally, we see a Talia take out a Nunu. That actually just makes me feel happy uh, yeah. more than anything else. Do you look